Hello everyone, and welcome to Let's Play River City Ransom. They just kind of throw you straight into the game, don't they? But we are going to pick our... We're going to pick one player, and we're going to pick our character on the right, who I think is Ryan? Might be Ryan, might be Alex. But River City Ransom is an action game for the Nintendo Entertainment System of the beat-em-up variety. It also has some strong RPG elements. In fact, they're strong enough that I would call it an action RPG. Uh, it was made by Technos in 89, I think. Now, we are going to jump in, because that's where our story starts. We're going to play at normal speed, at novice skill, because, again, I want to show off more of the game to you. And the game is a bit on the grindy side, meaning that you have to fight the enemies over and over again get the points that you need to progress. So we're going to just uh, start on the normal difficulty here. I hold your city captive and Ryan's girlfriend hostage. With my gang of students and evil bosses, nobody can stop me now. Meet my demands, or else. Yes, Alex and Ryan, if you interfere, you'll be in the fight of your lives. Slick. And that is a story of River City Ransom. Our main character's girlfriend has been kidnapped by one of the gang leaders, and we gotta go save her. And here is where we start off. Now, like your standard beat em up, you punch and kick your enemies into submission, but then they drop money. And you're gonna use that money in different areas of the game to buy goodies. Now, most of it is food, but some of it is equipment. Well, not exactly equipment. I'll show you what I mean. A second to finish beating these guys up. And we can also pick up weapons. This is a chain whip. It's one of the better ones at the beginning of the game. You can also throw the weapons around at each other. There are even some weapons that you can kick back and forth at each other. Alright. Now, over here we have our menu. We have our belongings. We don't have any right now. We have a password so that if we want to start the game over from where we are, we get that. The level is what we already saw, how fast the text goes, and the level of difficulty. But the status shows your character's attributes. Now, we're on the left, we're Alex. If Ryan was in the game playing two-player mode, he'd be on the right. Our punch, kick, everything's at 15, and it can get to a maximum of 63, I think. The higher the level, the more damage and effectiveness you have with that given skill. Our stamina is currently 39 of 36, of 63 rather. I've already gotten beat up a little bit. That I think can get up to about 127. And we're going to level these stats up by buying mostly food and items from the malls that we go to as we play the game. Okay, back to the game. Now, this is our first screen. And we're getting attacked by these punks. I think these are the frat boys. I would have said so at the beginning of the game, but I probably ran a little too fast. I also jump around. There are different things you can climb onto, and different environmental hazards you can use. Like if we jump up here, the enemies can't get us. They also stop moving around, making them easy targets for us. Now, when we came in here, it said something like generic dudes target which means that's the gang that's here right now. If we leave and come back to the screen, there may be a different gang here altogether. And generally speaking, the further along we get into the game, the tougher the gangs get. Uh, the generic dudes, I think, are the easiest level gang. Like, if we go back over here to the high school, it's the generic dudes as opposed to the rap boys. You can see that they have the light blue shirts as opposed to the pink shirts that the other gang has. And there's only about, I think, eight members at a time that you have to fight near you. The game is surprisingly deep on the way you can fight, too. Also, the tougher the games get, the more money they give you. If we hit, what is it, select, you see that we have $31. They don't give you a lot of money. I think these guys give you some like 50 cents each. 
So after you go through about eight of them, you come up ahead four bucks. I won't spend too much time here. I am getting beat up a bit too much. Alright, here we have our first mole. Now we don't do, do any fighting here whatsoever. But what we can do, we go into these different buildings here. We go to these sort of inventory, not inventory, we go to these shops, where we can buy different things. Now in this case, we can buy some waffles. They cost 410. And when we buy the waffles, yes, this is what we would like. We eat up the waffles and we get different stat effects for them. Agility up 1, Strength up 1, Stamina up 32. Max power is maxed out. Max power is your maximum health, while Stamina is your current health. When Stamina is maxed out and you start buying food and other items, that's when your max power will start going up. And all these different things that we can consume have different effects. Some just restore stamina, some will boost up our attributes. Let's see, what does coffee do? Can coffee restores willpower and stamina. Willpower up 2, stamina up 7, max power is up 2. So our max power went up a little bit because our stamina was at about full. So that's all we're going to do here. There's a couple of different shops here, and here's a bakery. Yep. And the bakery and the candy store, if I remember correctly, are some of the best places to go to buy items that power up your stats. All the stuff is cheap, and on top of that, they, they, uh, they definitely increase an attribute. So we're going to take this honey bun. Now this item is actually going to be one of our belongings, so we can hang on to it. And we can eat it when we like. We're gonna actually eat it now and see what the honey bun does. Alex ate the honey bun. Strength went up one. Stamina went up two. And max power went up one. So if we look at our stats, our max power is now 66 instead of 63. Our willpower has gone up to 17. Our strength has gone up to 17. And our agility has gone up to 16. Now, a lot of those are self-explanatory. Punch is how hard you punch, kick is how hard you kick, what weapon and throwing is the same. Agility is how fast your character moves and how well he jumps. Defense is how much abuse you're going to take, or rather, how well you take abuse. Strength is an odd one. Strength, I think, is um, how easily you can get through the enemy's guard, and how long you can hold an enemy and grab them. I'll show you grabbing them later. And willpower is your ability to get back up after being beaten nearly unconscious. So if you run out of stamina, but you have a high enough willpower, you'll actually get back up with a little bit of your health left over. Now we're going to go over here to this bookstore. Now, these are special books. These books will teach you special powers that you can use in the game. We're going to grab Dragon Feet. Yes, this is what we want. Like. Nope, nothing. No, we don't want that. We already bought that. Now, this is one of our belongings. When we read the book Dragon Feet, we're going to get the Dragon Feet special power. Alex read the book. Acquired a technique called Dragon Feet. Alright, now, our belonging inventory is only so so many slots, so we want to be careful of which things we decide to buy and, not, and what not. Now, when you play, you can have all kinds of options of what to do. I like to grab Dragon Feet or because watch what Dragon Feet does. Dragon Feet lets us rapid fire kick. Which you guys can really get to see, but there you go. That really changes how quickly you get from enemies. Stone hands would have done the same thing, except it would have been for punching. 
And there was another one called Astro, uh, not Astro, Acro Circus, something like that. Which lets your character do flips when he jumps. There are a couple of books like that, that teach you special powers. Back here, you. Okay, we're gonna move on to the next screen. Alright, Sticksville, Frack Gang, Frank, Frack Guy's turn. says punks can't pass. Don't try, or you'll leave on crutches. And he's our first boss of the game. There are a couple of screens where if you beat all the gang members, the boss shows up. And I think almost every boss you have to go through. Now, luckily, I'm at the point where I know where all the bosses are. But the first time that I was playing through this game, I would be surprised sometimes at where the bosses were hiding. Now, Rocco's probably going to be a... No, this is Moose. Moose is probably going to be a bit tough for us. So we're still at the beginning of the game, and we're not that tough. And I have almost no health for it. Let's see what we can do. Ah. So, that was me grabbing you. I was hoping to throw him. Hey, not bad. Hey, stop already. You're hurting me. Alright, there's our first boss beat. And it leads us to... The next mall. And these are all now all new different shops that have different items. Where are we going? We want to go to Mao's? Yes, because we are going to get some egg roll. Alex ate the egg roll. Defense up 3. Stamina up 24. Max power is maxed out. So not so bad, we got a nice boost of defense. And our stamina went up. And if we eat one more time... Alex ate the egg roll. Defense up 3. Stamina up 21. Max power is still next time. But that's all we're going to do here. Uh, what do we have here? What's up, Alex? Roxy has news for you. Randy and Andy are Cindy's kidnappers. She is locked up on the River City High's top floor. I heard she's in the far right room. But to rescue her, you must beat the twins. They're both clowns, but are very strong. Power up or you'll be in terrible danger. Don't take chances. I'm Slick's girl, but I'm your side. Be careful, please. So that's what we have to go do. We have to go rescue our girlfriend. But we're not tough enough yet. But down here, we have Benny, who's come to see us collide. Yeah, and it's time you know the rules. Alright, these guys are actually a great place to go and rack up some money. The thing is, they have to the jump, they have the uh, jump on me at the moment, so that's what happened when you get your butt kicked. But you get to go back to the last mall that you were at, but you lose half your money. Which kind of stinks. But luckily we're low on money anyways. Now Roxy's not here anymore, but the crap guys are. We're going to beat them up and take their money. Then we're going to try going under the bridge again. We beat up uh, Benny and Clyde. I'm being a little cheap here. Jumping on top of the bridge, not the bridge, jumping up on this uh, railing here. So I can jump down on the enemies. Is that a wall? Not yet. Okay, let's see if we can get them. This time, I'm just gonna throw myself at them. I'm gonna give them a chance. Still, I'm gonna beat up. Jeez. Okay, 
Hey, Wimp, I'm not finished with you. So, we get about seven bucks for being with two of them up. Plus, however much money we got for being up the gang on top of the bridge. So this is a great place to rack up some money to uh, build up your stats. So I'm going to do that here for a little bit, but I'll jump back once we're done. Alright, welcome back. I'm just going to give the uh, goons here one more beat, quick beat up. Because you can keep coming back here over and over again fighting these guys to get seven bucks from beating them up. And between them and the goons on the bridge, it's one of the better places, at least at this point in the game, to rack up money. But in the few minutes it took me, we've now maxed out our defense, so it's a pretty good place to be. If you wanted, you could even go back further to the other mall and start buying donuts and cookies and stuff to level up your other powers. But we're going to start moving on with the game. I get to pick up a guy like that. I can show you something. Later. Oh, now he's gone running in fear. So the new gang, not well, the new gang, but the new gang member has shown up instead. Careful. While well, that wheel is rolling around, it can still hurt you. Now, remember I told you about environmental hazards? We can fall in that pit. We don't want that to happen because we don't want to lose our money. I don't know how much money we have at this point. But this is where we were hoping to come because here's where we're going to meet our next gang leader. This is another one of those gang leaders that caught me by surprise. If I can get up here first. Not always easy to make that jump. But if you racked up your agility a bit, it'd probably be easier. Let's see if we can do this guy in. I think we're tough enough. Blade is in Sherman Park. He's waiting. Now, Sherman Park is actually a few screens back. So we're going to go back that way and go find Blade. I kind of skipped the, uh, the park where Blade was at, because Blade won't even show up until you've gotten to this point. But you could always still go into the park itself and fight the gang that would be there. See, a maxed, uh, maxed defense is pretty worth it. I'm getting beat up on, and I'm not losing too much health. It'd be better if I wasn't getting beat up on Volta. Alright, okay, we are still going to stop by Mouse. Meanwhile, we stuffed ourselves full of egg rolls. I think the Chow Mein has some nice benefits for us, too. Up one, stamina up 40. Plus one to kick is pretty good, but there are cheaper ways to get it. What about Pepper Beat? Stamina, just stamina. But that's going to do it for here. We'll save our money for when we back, get back to the previous mall. Uh, now, if you remember, here is where we beat up Moose. And when we finish beating up, we're heading to a wall. When we 
finish beating up these goons, and Moose will show back up. And we beat him up for some money again. Here we go again. And now we should be able to beat him up much more simply. He did it again! And I think he gives us two bucks. Just about two bucks. Alright, nobody here. But there is Blade. My name is Blade, and I'm a zombie. You can't go nowhere to beat me. Now when he says he's a zombie, he doesn't mean he's the living dead. That's the name of his uh his gang. And when you find guys in red shirts like him, that means they're zombies. Now he's kind of on the tough side. We're gonna see if we're tough enough to take a map out. down and lost all that money. Yep. But you know what? I'm gonna spend some of that money here to power ourselves up. And I'm gonna grind a little bit for money. I'll be back in a little bit. Alright, we're back. There's Blade. I'm gonna be as aggressive with him as I can. Hey, that worked pretty good. You want slick? Then I score first. Alright. Now, here's the point of the game where they don't tell us where any more uh, gang leaders are. We gotta go find them on our own. Now, before we can get to four, I think there's two other gang leaders we have to fight first. And if you didn't know this, you'd never be able to find four. And you'd never be able to lift the river so high, and you'd never be able to fight the most of the game. But we are going to start making our way to the next boss. Going to ignore all you guys. them in the pit, they'll die, but we won't get their money. We want them money. Who was it? In Morocco? We could beat him up again if we want. But we're going to save our uh, help for the next boss. Alright, now at this point we're going to start seeing tougher and tougher games. Like the mob. The mob is actually one of the tougher games in the game. If they show up too early, they can really eat you up. So we're not going to spend too much time playing with them. Especially since they're showing up in here. But in here is one of the greatest secrets in video game history. Well, not so much because it in and of itself is such a great secret, but because it's just such a fun secret. And you would see similar things happen in future games. 
Here, underneath the fourth leg, I think it is, is the entrance to Merlin's Mystery Shop. Now, these items are ridiculously expensive, but they all offer huge bonuses to stats. They're not the most cost-efficient way to get these bonuses to your stats, but if you want one-stop shopping, this is the place to go. But the only thing we can afford here is the Isis Scroll, so we're going to grab that. We are going to head out. And we're going to take a look at the Isis Scroll. Alex used the Isis Scroll. What am I supposed to do with this thing? Throw power up 20. And I like to believe that the reason his throw power went up 20 is because he hucked that scroll just off in the distance because he had nothing to do with it. But you see, our throwing power is up to 36 just because of that. And if we bought it two more times, we could max out our throwing power. But here is where we're going to find our next boss. First I have to beat up all these mobsters. And there we go. Hey dude, it's party time! I'm a zombie too, and you're a dead man. Alright. Now, usually I just throw myself at these guys, but looks like letting him talk was my mistake. So, uh, once we're back, ready to fight him, uh, we'll resume the game. Alright, we're back. This time I'm going to take the more aggressive approach to go with the Turk. But also for the fun of it, grab another Isis Scroll. I think we're going to make short work of Turk. The rumor's true. You are one tough dude. And how much money do you give us, Turk? About three bucks. Now, believe it or not, this is the next area where we fight a boss. So we're going to put down these mobsters. Alright, buddy. You see Thor, you got to toast all three zombies. And I believe he is the last zombie that we need to take out. So again, we'll see how well my, uh... Ruthless aggression works out here. Hey, not bad. Unbelievable. You're as mean as a zombie. Look for Thor in the factory's back room. Alright, so now we can go take out Thor. And we also get to go to our next mall. Now, this mall has some really nice stuff we can buy. Particularly over here in the shoe shop. Now, I can't afford the shoe that I really want to get, which is the Texas boots. So, I'm going to take a few minutes to go bash some skulls. And then... Okay, we're back. And we have enough money to get what we want. We are going to buy. Texan boots. These boots are kind of like the, um, the Dragon Feet manual that we got before, and that they take a slot in our belongings. But when we use them, Alex changed the shoes. Kick up 47, agility up 46. That's practically enough to max out our agility and kick. So, for the $99 that we spent, we just maxed out how fast we move, how high we jump, and how hard we kick. So, why don't we move on with the rest of the game. See, look at it, we are just zipping along. Later, guys. 
I sit there beating up these guys if we don't have to. Well, for the money, that's one reason. Alright. This is the factory, and we want to get to the back room. That's for Thor's thing. Found Thor, head of the zombies. Welcome to your worst nightmare. Alright, Thor is the guy we gotta beat up before we can make it to River City High. Now, if we throw him off the cliff, we don't get his money, but I don't think it counts as a win either, because we gotta hear his dialogue. I haven't guards the gate to City High. Alright, so we are ready to go. We make quick work of him because our kick is just so powerful. Here we go, here's our last mall. Now, there are a bunch of goodies we can get here, but there is one particular goodie that I want. Don't know if it's in here. There we go, we want to get Grand Slam. But unfortunately, we can't afford it at the moment. So we'll have, to, we'll have to come back a little later. buddies from before. They've come back to beat up on me. they are doing a good job so far. Ah. Well, I'll show you this place in a minute. Oof, I guess history does repeat itself. This is a great place, even though it's at the end of the game, to rack up lots of money real quick. Because, uh, as you already saw, uh, Benny and Clyde drop about seven bucks each time you beat them. Since we're at the end of the game, the toughest gangs show up, so they usually drop about a dollar each, each one that we put down. So we get about seven bucks for beating them up, and then about eight bucks or so for taking out a, a screen's worth of the gang. And on top of that, it's by one of the best healing places in the game, the health club. The only thing we can come here for is the sauna. So the sauna is cheap, and it gives you a great recovery rate for your willpower, your stamina, and your max power. So, Ryan's gonna jump, or is this Alex? Well, whoever is gonna jump into the sauna. Alex is very uptight, and the sauna was so relaxing. Willpower up 15, stamina up 30, and max power is max. So we just jump in there two or three times, and we're practically back to full health. Good, because if we ever get beat to near unconsciousness, the willpower will bring us back. So let's take a look at the next screen. The Internationals. The Internationals uh, give us a little bit more than a dollar for each one that we need. Just put them down with no effort because our kick power is just so high. Alright, so I'm gonna spend a few minutes beating up these guys and getting some money until we have enough to get something that I really want to show you. I'll be back in a few minutes. Alright, welcome back everyone. Let's put down Benny and Clyde real quick so we can get back on with our game. Now I think we've racked up enough money that I can show you what I really want to get. 
grab their money or grab this stick while we're at it. And go back to this bookstore over here. We are going to buy the Grand Slam skill. And that's all that we need in here. And we're going to learn Grand Slam. Alex acquired a technique called the Grand Slam. We're also going to take a quick stop at the pharmacy. Grab one of the better healing items. Because we are at the point where we are ready to go take on the bosses of the game. But first, this is what Grand Slam does. We can have a rapid fire attack with weapons. Now, our weapon uh, skill isn't quite as high as our kicking skill. So we don't do as much damage. But I still think it's one of the most worthwhile skills in the game. spend too much time fighting with these guys so they don't want to run out of health like I already have. So, you know what? A quick stop at the summer. Sorry guys. Now we get most of our money back. Sorry, cowboys. Alright, here we are. River City High. In the International School. Now we can't get into the high school just yet. We gotta fight our way through these these uh folks first. Not doing a very good job. One in, first survive my headbutt. Now Ivan actually is one of the few characters that has a headbutt attack. We gotta see it there. And since we are so low on health, we're gonna use the Karma Jolt. And get back to the fight. And I'm gonna try to be as aggressive with him as I can, and put him down as soon as we can. So tough, it should be enough. You are a worthy enemy. You may get lucky. Now we can go to the high school. Now we are practically at the end of the game. There's something like three more screens that we have to go through. And there's only three more bosses to fight. And I think this one is optional. Yo, no dirty shoes on my clean gym floor. I don't think we actually have to fight for this, but we can if we want to, and we're going to. Okay, keep them on. The twins are upstairs. Alright, so we're going to go upstairs. Come on, there we go. We could fight these enemies, or we could just keep going up the stairs. But we're going to keep going up the stairs, because I don't want to lose up any of our health. Oh, one of the fun things about Grand Slam is if you can pick up an enemy, you can use them as a weapon. I love it. Oh, you hear that? 
that music? That means the Dragon Twins have shown up. We are the infamous Dragon Twins. Don't plan to leave here in one piece. Oh, they're running off to get weapons. That is the very famous Double Dragons theme from the game Double Dragon. And these guys are sort of a nod to that. They even do attacks from that game. You may sort one of them do a uh, spinning, uh, spinning kick. I, I give up. You are too strong. And with them defeated, there's nothing to stand between us and Slick. Long time no see, Alex. Remember me? That's right. Old friend. Simon. What? Slick sounds dumber than Simon? Shut up! You hero types make me sick. Make your move. It's just you and me now. Now, he's actually nowhere near as bad as the twins that we just put down. So we shouldn't have too much trouble beating him up. But we are low on health, so if he gets a lucky hit in, that'll probably be the end of us. Wait, Simon says to give me a break. What's happening? My evil power is gone. Even when we were friends, you were. Always too good. I despise you. You haven't seen the last of me, Alex. I'll be back, and I won't forget this. Thanks to Alec and Ryan, the evil that was... <laughs> well, that was the end of evil Simon. The gangs returned to class and became honor students. Cindy was rescued in time to finish her shopping. Yes, all was once again peaceful in River City. And there you go, my friends. That was River City Ransom from the Nintendo Entertainment System. Now, I hope you enjoyed that, uh, that little taste of what River City Ransom has to offer, because there is so much more that I didn't even get to show you. There are so many ways to go about playing the game. At least in the way you build up your uh, your stats and stuff, and even the way you choose to fight. I like using the Dragon Feet and Grand Slam technique, but maybe some people would have more fun fooling around with things like Arrow Circus. Now, if you want a shot at playing River City Ransom, you're in luck, because this game is available on many different platforms. Of course, you can play it on the Nintendo Entertainment System, and it shouldn't be too hard to find copies of that. Although, they may be a little on the pricey side. A Game Boy Advance remake of the game was made too. I haven't had the chance to play that one, but if you, if you like this, it should be similar. And most importantly, the game was released on the Wii Virtual Console, so you can jump on there to grab a copy of it too. It was also released for a couple of systems i would never heard of before. They're probably systems overseas in Japan and stuff. But if you're a, a collector of unusual systems, you, you might be able to find the game on there as well. So, there you have it. That was River City Ransom. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.